something a uh, little different today. Like I said, I'm just gonna fire up some uh, some Heroes of the Storm, some Hots. There's a, a new patch out. I think it came out yesterday, maybe today in Europe, something like that. Um, we're just gonna be playing Quick Match, which is, if you're unfamiliar with the game, kind of like just the fun mode it would be like uh i mean you've got ranked and unranked where you do like a draft that kind of thing this will just match you up with a bunch of random people but you're guaranteed to get you know the hero that you want so because uh, yeah we're we're pretty casual at this that's what we're going to be doing certainly won't claim to be at all uh, great at the game this was always my uh my drunk game uh, i would take like starcraft uh, very seriously, I would take Hearthstone seriously, right? Like try to rank up, all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, yeah, whenever I was just in the mood to have a few drinks, play some games, this was it. That's how I learned it. So, um, yeah, didn't didn't get too like up to speed with with the meta and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I've played it, you know, a, a decent amount over time that I feel like I've got somewhat okay at the game and yeah it's just something I've, i frequently come back to every now and then been watching a lot of uh streams on it as well uh in my free time so yeah uh, very strange setup they've got like a hyper aggressive uh I guess we both just like tons of damage, no tankiness. But yeah, never been uh, never been big into the other MOBAs. I've tried League, never tried Dota. Uh, League didn't really appeal to me. Dota, you know, just looking at it, I don't think it's my my style of game. Uh, but this is the first game that really got me into the MOBA genre. And I just think a lot of what they do is actually really impressive. A lot of the the character design, like the hero design, I just think is like super clever, super well done. Uh, now with the changes, I've always liked this Asmodan. And one of the builds I really like to do with them, they actually buffed the crap out of, so... Uh, yeah, excited to actually give it a go. Plus, it looks like uh, I get to look like a basketball player, which is pretty great. You really want to be hitting heroes here to build those uh, build those early stacks. That's kind of the the big change. There we go. I'm oh, getting one anyway. Now I'd like to not be forced to go bottom or top. Like Karazim's not going to, so I'm gonna have to take top. Now they've also made this change so that the uh, the XP globes last longer, but with like a a penalty for the extended duration. So you're getting like a quarter XP from these globes now uh, instead of full. But that's for like a 39 second period after the original six. So a little strange. Not sure what I think about the change, but uh, hopefully get some idea as to how it feels today. Nolan, what's that? That is, uh, I think you, I think you typoed with that face there. Should have been. I think you meant to type Pog Champ, Hots Pog Champ. Is that right? Still get a few globes from minions uh, 
doing this build. Okay, that's not fun. I think we'll still go with that. Yeah, there, there we go. That's better. Yeah, so now these globes, right? This is the whole thing. These globes are real tiny. I'm gonna wait on my queue a bit here to hopefully get some minions as well. Yeah, really interesting because at, at a surface level, it seems to reward. Uh, I guess I would say less skilled players, like less skilled macro players. But I've heard some people talk about it, like now if you're winning a team fight, you can go scoop up these extra XP globes, which is, you know, advantageous. It's like a snowball kind of effect. Uh, so really not sure how this is going to work in practice. Now I can't hold this on my own. This is uh, not going to be great, but we'll take a few, few free shots. Ready to drop anything down there if I need to. I don't want to extend too much there because they've actually got vision here. And that's going to be too much. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Nolan? Yeah, so this is going to be tough as well. This is where they get, um, uh, we're still going to want this. It's where they get Mule with Abathur. And on this map, it's just crazy being able to heal structures. Uh, but no point contesting up here anymore, so. Just going to try to push this. And yeah, I guess we'll scoop up all these tiny globes, which is so weird. Uh, they're still up top. A little bit worried about Butcher coming down. This game always makes you laugh, don't know why. I mean, it's a game that really doesn't take itself very seriously, so... Uh, there's a lot of silly aspects to it. Even the fact that we're a basketball playing demon from Diablo is pretty strange. Okay. Still gotta get this XP. I don't know what to. what we're thinking. Again, won't claim to be the greatest at this game, but this number. For most people, it tends to be very low, much lower than it should be. Uh, that's what I, I tend to gravitate to as far as heroes go. People that are going to have pretty high numbers there. Just don't have great vision on where they are. I mean, there's a lot. Oops bottom here that I might be able to dunk on. But yeah, like we don't need all those people getting camps here. Uh, gonna miss out on a lot of laning with that. Two as we go. I wish they had CS. So they kind of do. Uh, the game never used to have any. 
Um, but the way it works now, if you directly get the kill, so like from a last hit, then you get experience. Otherwise they drop an experience globe, which sits around for six seconds. And now in this latest patch, there's like an extended experience globe for an additional 39 seconds that just gives a quarter XP. Um, so it somewhat rewards last hitting in that like you're guaranteed the experience, but it's just to the point where it doesn't punish, uh, doesn't punish if like, I, I have to go there. Doesn't punish if you miss like one hit kind of thing. Except Ray has a door. I actually don't know if I can clear this, but we really have to try. No. Yeah, it's kind of a, a neat way of doing it, I think. Might just be dead here. Pretty dead here. But I mean, we're trading bottom boss here. We should get this for it. I think it's okay. Yeah, it also opens up some really interesting opportunities for experience. Like, for example, I can spawn this demon lieutenant anywhere where there's creeps, right? So I could just spawn it in any lane, even if I'm not there. And if my, nice, if my demon lieutenant kills somebody, then uh, I still get the experience, even though I'm not there. So I can, oops, right, drop him right there and potentially still soak experience in a lane that I'm not even in. Uh, what do I want here? I want this guy. Yeah, and then I'll probably be playing them later too. Then you get heroes like Abathur, right? Which are like global all over the map type heroes. Really interesting implications of that for XP and stuff as well. Uh, I feel like I should just go tickle this for it. Oh, it's dead. Okay. The octopus man seems like your kind of character. Yeah, this guy's great. Or is Octopus Man Abathur? Because uh, I could see either, honestly. all that well this game because we've been forced to lane you'd like to be able to uh, roam with uh, more of the team to get hero hits but it's all right we'll make do Just getting picked off one by one. See if we can get a couple of snipes, I suppose. But like this butcher has no fear.
Oof. Just missed. Push this out any further. Get a few more stacks. Dang, just dead to poison. Honestly, we should probably just leave this and try to take the bottom one. Yeah, it feels super weird with this new uh, globe XP stuff. Where it's just sitting around. Yeah, the range on uh, the range on this guy is just crazy. That's kind of the the point of this character, where you just like sit back. You get tons of health, but you have like zero escapability. And you just throw this thing, the whole game you're just trying to get like uh, kills on minions, hits on heroes, that kind of stuff. And then, uh, and then it's just going to boost the damage of this thing. And then yeah, once you get the basketball skin, oof, just the best. Champ looks like Urgot from LOL. I don't know Urgot from LOL. Uh, but yeah, I mean he's like a D3 boss, not not one of the coolest, uh, not one of the coolest games to pick from. Yeah, they should be able to uh, get the rest of that objective just fine. Mistime that. The magic of the temple. Uh, I kind of have to do this. Normally, if you're fully stacked, you get the other one, but. Gonna be our best option. I'm surprised they didn't push with the boss here, because I don't think they're really getting much else done. We've got all their forts very low, that if we can do something uh, before Mule heals up, I think we... We're actually just fine. A little annoying, but not that bad. Oh my god, this butcher just does not care. Need to clear this double catapult, so uh, that's an issue. Okay, not bad. I'm actually really surprised they're not contesting here. They are down one guy, but it's not like it's uh, that big of a deal for them. Okay, 
here they are. Got him. Okay. Again, I can just defend this, it's fine. We're getting pushed on the bottom lane that actually might just win. The catapults are uh, building up there. Fifty-four, forty-nine. I don't know if we actually want to contest this or not. Probably not. So this is that Abathur guy. He's got the uh, the hat on his head. Nice shot, thank you, thank you. So he basically like puts that thing over top of people and then buffs the crap out of them. But Abathur himself, this little thing. But himself, he just like sits in the base doing very little there. He can sit in the base, he can move out too. We might actually just be able to win with this. Back up. Really happy we've Chromie. If you see these people like teleporting back, she's got this like time trap thing that will send them back and it is so obnoxious to play against. Yeah, just hit the core and we win. Uh, I don't know why we're not just hitting the core, but that's okay. We will still just win. No free kill at the end for Anna. See, and this is why we love high. Obviously MVP, we're the best. We actually did all right. I feel like I still need a bit of warm up. Do another Asma Dan. Pretty, uh, pretty familiar with him. I like them on other maps where you get like more, more team fighty stuff, and you can just snipe like four of them at once instead of just one or two. Yeah, this is why we love hots. It's... I actually don't understand the hate that this game gets. It's very strange. I feel like it's a lot of. Uh... I don't know, just like, oh man, I hate this map. Didn't even know that was basketball until you said earlier. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why it gets all, all the hate, because I know like League and Dota are way more popular. I know, uh, well, I'm not even sure, but from a competitive perspective, they certainly seem to be uh, more well-liked in, in that regard, but I don't like the fact that there's no items. Interesting. I feel like, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't suffer from not having any items. Because you still, like, you get your skills for uh, for whatever kind of build you want, right? Items are for making a build. Now you just got skills instead. And uh, so much fun to try new item builds in League. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's just different builds here. Felt pretty empty when you played. Interesting. I, I find the heroes just... Okay, well, we need somebody bottom. I guess it's going to be me. I 
Um, yeah, I, I, I find the, uh, the characters are what keeps me coming back as opposed to, uh, items or builds or whatever because they're just so diverse. Like, we'll do some hogger today as well. Huge fan of hogger. Kept thinking, why is he gonna buy? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No going back to buy items. So Savannah's is a, a good laner, but we can still apply a lot of pressure early. <laughs> Too bad we didn't get any stacks though. Gonna hit the fountain early. I like to get into Dota, but it's so hard. Yeah, that's that's another thing is like, it's like one of the problems with the, all the, the complaining people do in the MOBA scene I find is like, Someone will be like, oh, I like League way better than Dota. And someone else will be like, oh, I like Dota way better. And it's like, have you put 1,000 hours into each of them? <laughs> like, there's, there's so much to uh, to get out of those games. Okay, Val is going to be here for the chest. Let's see if we can't just snag a coin. Should mean we get the five up top. Looks like we did. Now this match doesn't, or, or this map doesn't exist on uh, in ranked games because it's kind of a silly map. But they have it in in quick match. Uh, might as well collect. So yeah, basically all you're trying to do here, since I'm sure nobody here is a hot veteran, um, you're trying to get these doubloons, right? Gold coins, so you can turn in in the middle, uh, and then they'll launch shit at uh, at the other guy's forts. These guys. Uh, do you have wards? Uh, no wards, like in the same way that they are in other games, but some characters have things that act as wards. Um, little scouting tools. Uh, but they're not like a global thing that every hero can get. So another thing I like about this is all the different maps. Don't need the last hit minions. So you get to if you last hit, you get the XP from it. If you don't last hit, they drop an experience globe uh, that lasts for like six seconds that you can pick up. Uh, so if you're like in lane with things, it doesn't really matter if you last hit or not as long as you're close and you can scoop up the globe. Um, but a lot of times like, say with my big Q there, like that huge throw, you'll be hitting things in like different lanes and so if you get the kill, it makes a big difference, but uh, if not, you can run over and scoop it up, potentially. It's Yeah, so it's like less required than uh, Dota or League, but there's still like some incentive to do it. And like, the other thing I was saying, so I can drop a little demon guy in lane there. I'm not even in the lane, but if he gets the kill, I get the experience for it. But like, that's a globe, that little blue thing. So there's like a couple things where I didn't get XP. Also similar kind of thing, so like with my Q, if uh, if I either kill a minion or a minion dies soon after I hit it with a Q, I'll, I'll get a stack here, and that's going to boost my damage. So lots of guys will have like quests or abilities or whatever that encourage last hitting, 
Uh, and sometimes you actually need the last hit. Sometimes there's no time buffer like that. How do you carry this then? You just get an experience advantage from kills. Uh, yeah, so you're going to get more kills from laning and... Uh, um, you get experience from taking these camps as well. Um, but there's kind of different strategies. Like, I, I can't really speak that much to, uh, to like, League and Dota. So if what I'm saying is incorrect, just, you know, that, that's possible. Um, but because you level up as a team, right, like this up here, there's less, like, individual, oh, I'm going to get super buff and then, yeah, carry everyone by killing them kind of thing. Uh, but some heroes are very like siege heavy so they're like really good at pushing lanes and forts and things like that uh, and those are uh... oh so sick those are going to uh... like that's a perfectly viable way to win the game is just like don't team fight but just have really really good macro but it's also viable to like have a team fight composition and you're gonna try to force fights, it's just that everyone on your team is the same level. So yeah, carrying is uh, less of a thing, I guess, or at least a, a different sort of thing. Yeah, some people really hate to, some people really hate that like carrying's not a thing just because they're, or at least again not in the same way, because they're really used to that and they think that that whole thing's fun and that's why I think most people who are new to the game always go for like the assassin types, right? The ranged assassins. I want to carry. I want to kill everything. But the more you play the game, the more you find that the uh, the other roles are very very valuable. That's why, like, we're playing a siege guy. We didn't have the highest, like, kills or siege damage last game, but we still got MVP. Don't know why we're skirmishing over there, but okay. Do you want a true teamwork experience, it seems? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, uh... I think that's part of it, and I think they just wanted something, uh, something to differentiate themselves, right? So, team experience is a way to do it, and it's, I, I think the idea was probably to get more people interested in the game who are less experienced, right? If your friends can help you out, sort of idea. Played a dwarf with super tanky. Uh, is he in this game? No, I think he was in the last game. Yeah, Muradin is a super tanky dwarf. Very good character. Yeah, I like all the sillier characters, like, uh, I don't know if you guys know Murky, you know, like, Murlocs from, uh, from WoW, he's like this shitty little Murloc, and when he dies, he's only worth, like, a quarter, uh, a quarter of the XP of anyone else, and he comes back in, like, ten seconds, but he just, like, sucks, but he's, like, such a troll character where, uh, yeah, you, you can like push lanes and do tons of siege damage, all kinds of annoying things with them. Finally getting some hits. Uh, see if they're here. Uh, 
have enough, but I think this is fine. They also did a change of the map rotation with this latest patch, and uh, I don't mind the map that they got rid of, but the one that they brought in is uh, a little questionable, I think. Damn, we got 12 stacks from that. Must have hit something good. That's an awkward silence. Perfect. But yeah, real crap stacks for us this game. I mean, it would be fine, I suppose. That's a good shot. But yeah, I think we can probably just win here, honestly. Even though I've got like no mana, gonna need a globe here. Gonna play it safe, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what that valor is doing, but okay. Well, I think if we turn in... Uh, oh no, I guess they still got one keep left, so maybe we don't auto-win right there. Pretty close, though. Man, we've only had two deaths on our team. Uh, ah, trying to snipe Chrome, maybe. Disengaging. K. 
Okay. I don't think it's GG though, technically. Like, yeah, I think we do win, but... Still gotta go through this before it starts shooting the core. Kill all that stuff anyway. Man, just way over aggressive throng too. Can we please finish? Please. Cool. Never tasted sweeter. Yeah, Butcher actually did quite well. it up a bit go to uh i want to try out hogger again hogger probably my at least one of my favorite uh heroes in the game another one with kind of a unique play style he's like the latest one that they added and he's just like easily the most fun easily easily the most fun Yeah, probably do some Hogger, some Abathur, then I don't know what, I don't know what else. Who's my favorite hero? I think it's probably Hogger. Um, but that's also like a recent thing. It kind of changes over time, right? Somebody's new and fresh, they're always fun, but... Yeah, Hogger. I do really like Asmodan as well. Uh, the guy was just playing. Uh, but we'll see. They, they made a bunch of changes to Hogger. Uh, so he's not as good at, like, doing minion waves and uh, taking mercenaries, that kind of thing. But he's supposed to be better against uh, heroes and stuff. But hopefully we can showcase why he's so hilarious. Uh, so here I think we need to take this at level one. It's fine if Rag goes solo. I still think I should be solo top, but whatever. I don't think it's a big deal. A uh, new patch in Hearthstone, or what does the title mean? No, no, not, not a new uh, Hearthstone patch. New Hots patch here. Um, yeah, first time I've streamed the game or anything, so it's not like uh, not like a big change to what I normally do. But yeah, they just released a patch, and I don't know, I just felt like playing the game. Gonna be trying out some of the the new stuff. So that's Hogger's big thing, that spin. And you can bounce off surfaces endlessly until uh, until there's nothing left to bounce off of. And that's what makes him so fun. You'll get these moments with just crazy spins. Unpredictable spins. Uh, I've played other MOBAs. I, I've played League, but I played League like forever and ever ago. Like, uh, my God, I don't even know, eight years ago or something like that. Uh, but it didn't. It didn't suck me in. I didn't love it. Um, 
But I never tried Dota. Yeah, this is the first game that I actually, like, began to really enjoy uh, in the MOBA genre. Yeah, you can definitely tell he's got to uh, kind of increase PvP damage. I'll agree here. Yeah, I mean, nobody loves it. It's an addiction. Yeah, that is... So, like, I, I was talking about it a bit at the start of the stream. Like, uh, this was this was always my drinking game. Uh, I never took it seriously. Uh, I took StarCraft seriously. I took Hearthstone seriously. But this, I always wanted to... Uh, to just keep as a casual experience. And uh, I think that's why I've ended up enjoying it so much is... Yeah, I never never got sucked into like the ranked scene or anything like that. Okay, perfect. Scoop out this glove. Clear one more wave here. Just catch what we can. Uh, I don't know if we should be aggressive here or not. I mean, if they're all just going to be pushing up top, we might as well start here. Pushing, don't think that's smart. Very nice. Problem is the uh, death cooldowns are so so slow. We still probably got to defend here, but do a bit while we can. Take the globes, not the worst. Uh, is that still better? I don't know. Garbage fire might still be. Or it might be better now. There we go. Don't chrome me. Never got into haunts, had a lot of problems understanding the quests for abilities. Uh, yeah, yeah, the quest thing, it's like a... Just a way to, like, incentivize certain play styles to, uh, to get upgrades, basically. Um, I, I think, I mean, I guess it depends, uh, when you played. But, uh, I think they simplified it a lot. Wow, I can't believe we saved Ray. Right? Yeah. But yeah, I don't think there's a... Uh, there's not like a huge player base for the game. But still like a decently healthy one. Are they going for this? They are. Not much we can do though. Just 
Just hit some guys where we can. Yeah, we're getting tons of, uh, tons of hero damage with Hog right now, which didn't really used to be a specialty. Uh, do we still want Portable? I think I'll play Kel'Thuzad if you start playing. Do you think he's a good hero for a team? Uh, he's not bad. He's, he's not, uh, not like top tier, but it's one of the things about this game, you don't have to play like top tier heroes all the time uh, until you get like really good at the game which I am not uh, but yeah he's he's actually not too bad That being said, I've actually never played him, funnily enough. Uh, okay, if Stitches is going to defend, I think that's fine. So yeah, this is why I like Hoggy. You can get these endless spins like this, and sometimes it's uh, it just gets really out of hand and hilarious. Jesus. I tried the horde to pull down, but I think the, uh... Yeah, the immortal actually hit me there. Not great. Uh, interesting. Crap, I think we're gonna lose this one. Keep fighting there, but oh well. Yeah, I can't. Uh, okay. Gonna have to go defend here. Save the uh, the fountain. Nice. Yeah, he still does decent PVE damage as uh, as he levels up. Oh, we ended up losing the fountain anyway. Got it. Let's just take this then. Alright, I guess I don't need to generate rage anymore because it doesn't apply to uh doesn't apply to mercs there. Something I'm just used to doing. a really slow uh, horde pull up there. There we go, push him right into it. That was great. 
Uh, not sure what we're doing here. Defense for this thing. Shit, my bad. Hmm, man, we keep playing so good when uh, when the objective is not up. I feel like we're getting lots of kills and stuff, but. Yeah, I'm not sure why uh, why we're so bad during the objective. Nice rag, though. Yeah, like even here, I feel like we could just go defend, but. All right, we'll just collect uh, whatever XP we can. Uh, still probably go with head thing. If we keep them away and can, uh, all right, we get crummy gorge tea. Very nice. Okay, but we still have to deal with this. Again, it's like we give up the objective and then we play so well. Uh, so your new video was good, but I think you should have like two or three games, maybe one loss where you explain why, and a win explaining uh, better how you got the high ground. Uh, maybe. So sick. Um, yeah, again, it's another one of those things like, you know, how much effort you want to put in and. Wow, that was really nice. Um, yeah, we could go that extensive. I already feel like it's a little bit heavy doing like one video per matchup. Uh, most people do deck guides. It's just like a singular video. I'll, I'll keep it in mind. Usually I need to kind of digest feedback like that before I uh, make a decision, but... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like the one, just the one game thing for now. Uh, yeah, because that's also a, partly like that's what the stream is for, right? Just the longer form, uh -oh. longer form explanations. Six man. Uh, okay, at least we got variant. Definitely doing no control here. How long can you bounce around? So you can bounce around for literally as long as there's a surface to bounce on. 
So there's like a timer, whatever it is, like three, four seconds or something. If you hit a surface, it resets the timer. So like here, I can just sit here doing this for like ever, basically. In until I cancel, right? I'll just keep hitting stuff. Or until that timer runs out, like that. That is that is the joy of Hogger and why he's so hilarious. Uh, and then I also just got this ability, this no control, which is like another way to do the most ridiculous spins ever. Which hopefully will show off in a second. Yeah. Okay, I guess we push with... Uh, oh, he's got that. Great. There's a decent chance we can end this if, uh, if we catch a hero or two here. But I think we gotta wait for the immortal to come with us. Oop, that was the wrong button. So this here, this is like a no control thing they call it. You just bounce around from person to person doing crazy damage. But it's also a very risky maneuver. I felt like that was going to be enough damage to uh, turn things in our favor. I guess it didn't account for uh, Junkrat being gone. Well, we got both their keeps down, so we get, like, extra catapults, which is nice. So the lane should be pushed back. Uh, well, I guess we don't know where the rest of them are. We might be able to take, like, this camp. But uh, You said this is your drinking game? Are you a long drink, beer, or a rum guy? And all the other alcohol types. Uh, I really like beer. So I've been away from drinking for... Probably a couple months now. Um, just to, you know, be be healthy and good. Uh, but yeah, I really like beer. Used to be just a beer guy. Uh, but I, I got into whiskey recently, but only certain kinds. There we go. Um, so I really like Jameson's. What is six been? All luck, too. So I'll drink Jameson's, I'll drink beer. Uh, other stuff is, you know, fine. Like, I don't mind some rums. I don't mind other things here and there. But, yeah, those are my go-tos. Nice. Let's get right guard here. Doesn't really matter. Still gonna win the race here. Uh, here in Finland, we got a breezer type Smirnoff. I think it's the best alcoholic drink you've ever drank. Uh, so I'm familiar with Smirnoff, uh, like the the company, right? They do. I, I've never heard breezer though. Right, maybe we just race here. I think we do. Um, Wait, we have a thing called a cooler, like a Smirnoff cooler. Is is that what it's like? It's kind of like a sugary 
mixed vodka drink? Because if so, then I think I know what you're you're talking about. But maybe we just have different terminology. Alright, we should just win here. Not really sure why we were chasing over there, but I also don't think it matters. We're gonna try to kill him. Yeah, but it would have been cool. Full name is Smirnoff Ice. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is the same thing. Smirnoff Ice. And, uh, I, I've actually never had one, but I know when they came to Canada. Uh, they were super popular like when they first came out. I don't know how popular they are now um, But the only problem is they they've got a reputation here as being like a uh, It's like a girly drink right if you're a man you don't drink coolers only only women who hate real beer would uh, would drink a cooler so it's why a lot of people don't don't drink it, but I mean I don't care if it's if it is good then I would drink it nice think brightwing did do good ah we got uh, we got out damage right in there yeah hogger always fun I do want to do some avatar though Abathur's a weird one, especially if you've played other MOBAs and never seen uh, this guy's play style. It just seems like super bizarre for a game like this. Kind of the same problem there with Breezers. The thing is you hit to get drunk, so you do some other stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm also just not big into like sugary stuff in general. Not not even just drinks, but like uh, you know, sweets, cookies, cake, all that kind of stuff. I when I was young, it was like the greatest thing ever. I loved sugar, but yeah, now when I have sugar, it, it kind of messes me up. Not not a big fan. Uh, occasionally I'll have it, but I don't tend to like crave sugar. Um, yeah, I'm always more on like the salty or bitter side of things, so that's where. So we're just like a beer, right? Black coffee, all that kind of stuff. I, I really enjoy. But lots of different kinds of beers, to be fair. Like, uh, I, I did, uh, there's like a bar that we have here. Uh, they do this thing called, oh, what do they call it now? They have these passports, and then they call it like around the world in 80 beers or something. So you get this like, this little booklet that looks like a passport. And uh, every time you drink a different beer out of this list of 80 beers, you record it in the passport and the, the servers there will like stamp it and then if you finish it you get like a hoodie nothing nothing real special i think you get some like free drinks in the middle and stuff like that um but yeah it's all these different drinks from all over the place and the place claims to have like 300 different kinds of beer uh so i've done like three different passports there and this is in like past years when i would uh I would drink a lot more fridays after work that was my my go out and drink time so that was like 240 different beers from uh, from different places all over the world. So there's been a few people in here who've been like, oh yeah, I like this beer, but you've probably never heard of it. And it's like, no, we, I, I've tried lots and lots of like European and Asian beers. Some of them I just don't remember, but uh, yeah, some really, really, really good ones. Really like Belgian beers, actually. All right, we're gonna have to decide what kind of build we want to do. I think I like 
the uh, the nests here. So this guy, you'll see, we don't like actively do stuff with him, which is probably going to sound weird. Um, but basically, you use this symbiote thing to put like a hat. They call it right. Um, So you'll, you'll see what this looks like. So we can like jump over here. He'll spawn these little locusts. Uh, and then we can spawn uh, mines. But then what you do is you like get this little hat over top of people's heads. And then you can like shoot from this hat. You can armor up people. And uh, well, a person's going to die anyway. And then at any time you can... Uh, you know, you can get off of the hat. Uh, you can do it on minions to get experience like this. So it's a very, like, you gotta be uh, hyper focused on the map. You can repair buildings as well. It's, uh, but you can also go, like, out with your body to grab XP like that, which is risky, but also tends to be quite good. Please get this Probius. There we go. See, we can just keep dropping those uh, those mines there, and it'll disrupt any kind of rotations the other team wants to do. Uh, and you see, like if I drop it on the on the gate there, I'll get these XP globes that are sitting in front of the gate. Uh, didn't have it off of cool down. Yeah, thank you. We'll do that. Hello. So yeah, this map's a little bit different too. You have to get the objective to uh, to actually do damage to the core. Uh, whereas other maps, you can like just push. You could theoretically ignore the objective, but this one, like, you literally have to. No choice. Uh, so very aggressive rainer. Uh, do I watch anime? No, not, not to, oh god, probably it's gonna kill me. Not like regularly or anything, I, I've watched like Dragon Ball Z and stuff. Big fan, love it, but it's like the, you know, the standard classic. I don't know why we're out there alone. Uh, jeez, 
We probably still get mule here just because it's so good. And this is really bad. I kind of want to be into anime though. Like, I, I keep thinking there's some I should give a chance. Like, there's just certain ones you always hear about that are like big in the, the anime scene, I guess. So, I, I feel like there will come a day when I'm going to give anime another, like, honest shot. Anime is all you watch now? So what what are the for someone who literally is just like yeah Dragon Ball Z is cool um, but never got into other stuff what would you recommend Full Metal Alchemist okay best first anime okay. Uh, I had some of my friends telling me Attack on Titan is super good. Can you vouch for that? Just gotta scoop up this XP. I know we got the objective down here, but... Bad first anime? So why, what, what is the difference between like a, okay, a good first anime and a bad first anime? Because I would think it would just be like, is it a good show or, or is it a bad show, you know? used how anime works is the best way I can describe it. It sounds so weird to me. But I will trust you, you're not the first person to say something like that. Like, yeah, it's good for people who watch anime or don't or whatever. But it just sounds so bizarre. Like if someone was like, oh should I watch this movie? And I'm like, hmm <laughs> have you seen these other six movies? Because if not, you're not gonna like it. It's like why? But okay, Full Metal Alchemist. Anything else? Alright, fantastic. Uh, this one's just done for us, so we're not mealing that. Um, please just dive on him. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, I think we're gonna do this because these people are playing crazy uh, aggressive on their team. I don't know why they're coming in to save me. I'm I'm just a temporary like hallucination. Unfortunately, just not uh, got a great team this time around, but not much we can do about that. Just try our best. Samurai Shampoo. Okay. I don't know if I've heard about that one. What is... I'm familiar with Full Metal Alchemist. What is Samurai Shampoo? It sounds like a L'Oreal commercial.
This is real nasty. Can't even get the heal off, eh? Can't just stand there. Oh, you gotta move, Rainer. All right. Apparently that. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Apparently that'll work somehow. I guess we don't actually need to do that, do we? Hard to uh, to play Abathur well enough to like uh, secure a victory, you know. Let's see what we get here. enough uh, don't think we'll save this either even with the mule hate this map is trash hey I'm with you this is this is probably my second least favorite map uh, but I can't stand Hanamura Hanamura is easily the worst map They got boss, they're gonna shoot us there. We got like nothing to even mule if we wanted. But they just took out Volskaya in this uh, in this latest patch and added Warhead Junction back in, which I think is a little bizarre, but I wasn't like the biggest Volskaya fan, but I didn't mind the map. I thought it was okay. Also one of the worst maps. A oh, Warhead. Yeah, and Warhead was out of the rotation for uh, for quite a while. But yeah, Warhead's just way too big. Mm. Not really anything we can do here. Do my best to not let that die. But. So 
name goes for this, you can just dive on the mule. Is dead here unless we somehow hold this. Yeah. Twenty-eight deaths. Yeah, don't think we really had a chance there. What's up, Tantar? Yeah, good to see you, uh, good to see you catch the stream. Do we do another Abathur game? Hmm. Do you like my Abathur? Who else do we got? What channel am I in? Uh, no, just gonna be heroes the whole time. Uh, what do you mean what channel am I in? Like here? Because this is just like the global whatever chat. I don't have like a particular channel here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can join me. Just, uh... Here, just add me, and, uh, and I'll invite you. Yeah, just here today, we're, we're doing, uh, every Wednesday, we do not Hearthstone. Just so, uh, just so people don't freak out if all of a sudden they come on stream and it's like, What? No Hearthstone. That way we got a scheduled day where people can uh, people can avoid me if they'd like. It's also why I strategically released the uh, that one control hunter matchup guide. Uh, oh, one sec. If I do that, I'm gonna have to uh, appear online. Accept. There we go. So, who did I just add? I didn't see your name, just send it. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, let's see. Sick. Um. I don't know who I feel like. They reworked Rainer. He's got kind of an interesting kit now. I wouldn't mind another Asmodean game. Played the Hunter a bit, felt good. Nice. Yeah, I feel like the deck performs really well against uh, pretty much everything that's in the meta. Yeah, went five and one. Not surprised. And I think it does really, really well against Zoo, uh, which is just like, no matter where you are on the ladder, you're gonna face like a million Zoos. You can be in Bronze 10 or Legend 1, you could still face Zoo, it's crazy. Yeah, I find it a fun deck to play too. Okay. Bit of a weird comp. Oh uh, yeah, I hate this map. This map is horrible. Oh, does this mean I have to solo land top? Because I really don't want to. I think so. I mean, Stitches could theoretically do it. Hmm. Seen a lot of warrior right now, so switch to shaman. I think the I think the hunter deck's decent against warrior. I don't think it's as good against warrior as uh, just a typical mid range hunter though. So yeah, I could see that. Shaman's shaman's a pretty good bet. Do you ever play ranked? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, you don't usually quick match? Yeah, I mean, we could, uh, well, I don't know if we could do ranked. Because it probably, uh, 
probably matters what a rank is. I think it was only like silver though. Um, and unless you play like within one league of each other, so. Oh, Lunar is gonna go top. That's perfect. Um, yeah, but I, I I don't mind doing rank. The only reason I'm doing a quick match is uh, well, actually two reasons. One, so I always get the hero that I want. Because I don't play the game enough to uh, to be able to get them to draft. And then the other reason just being that it's my first time streaming it. So I'm pretty uh, pretty new to like interacting with chat on top of uh, playing the game. This is nice. Here we go. Lots of stacks is uh is asthma on these team fighting maps. Give me some help up top. the lieutenant down here. Yeah, you can tell that we're playing with people of higher MMR now that uh, now that you've joined, villain, because people are not going for the objective, which is what you should do: is ignore ignore the objective on this man. So sick. Really need the mana from this. Nice. 
might be able to toss one more Q, then I got a bail. Doing quite well this uh, this time. Necessary. Well, I just happily collect stacks here. Might just suicide for it. Eh, it's fine. Six minute glint, seven, not too bad. Here comes the complaining. It's not a MOBA without some complaining. We've been uh, pretty lucky to dodge it up until now. Help me with a lot, dude. Man, these people are really, uh, really angry today. We're still totally in this. This is, uh, I mean, we're even ahead. Yeah. Uh, I 
got no mana for another Q. Yeah, we're coming with our zero men. People are uh, taking it way too seriously. Oh, we're almost maxed out already on stacks, so we can drop all kinds of damage, it's a nice thing. We should just keep pushing, this is fine. dunk before death, it's fine. Uh, okay, so they probably take this, kind of equalizes the game. We'll hit 16, that'll be fine. I'm not sure what Val is thinking, but sure. Somehow save that for it. Very nice. Nice. Amazing, Zoljin. This looks good.
Nice. Yeah, we can just win here. Not sure about this dive by uh, by stitches, but okay. Well, he's dead. Anyway. Perfect. Hawks in 2021 thought this game was dead. No, no, no. We're, we're keeping it alive. It's actually got like a, a somewhat alive player base. It's just that uh, Blizzard stopped supporting any of the competitive scene. And then a lot of people just assumed that that meant uh, they weren't doing like any more updates or heroes or patches or anything like that. Uh, which wasn't the case. Like, I even thought so, too. I thought they were just, like, not working on the game at all, but... Yeah, still fun. Oh, <laughs> wisely not a bad. Hit the core. All Zildjian, really? Yeah. Come on, now. Give us that MVP. No love for our healer, too. Yeah, there we go. Stitch's skin is pretty cute. I think Stitch's as a whole is pretty cute. Alright, nothing good there. Who do we play now? Uh, oh, did you want to try ranked? We could... Would even let us... Uh, players in their placement can't play. Oh, okay. So I, I'd have to do my placement first. Never mind. Another day, perhaps. Mm, let's do some more hogger. Love me some hogger. Chromie, nice. Never played Chromie, but she is one of the most annoying heroes to play against. Illidan. Illidan is so bad now. He's fun. I'm not going to play Illidan. Nah. He's fun, but yeah, he's... But I'm also really bad with him on top. He is fun. Yeah, with Abathur, he's got a decent combo. But even then, there's just so many better, better combinations at that point. I would do Abathur if you want to do Illidan, but... Get you that, uh, at least do the attack speed upgrade. There you go, I gamer man. Getting your request, but this is, uh... Give me everything. Yeah, you're probably going to be like the only tidy. You and uh, uh, and creeps just for for XP. Now, I love Abathur, man. Abathur's fun. Lost Vikings are fun too. I'm not like great with them. 
Uh, and I only play them on like the free to play rotation. When they opened it up for a month, everything was free for a month. That was pretty great. It's fun though watching uh, like real top level players. Like Fan will, uh, he's like a former pro. He'll pick Illidan, who's like, you know, not that good at, at a super high level, like GM level, like he plays. But he'll still make the hero just look so stupid good. I only played Hots on release for like a month to get the card back skin. Yeah, well then what you would have seen of Illidan would be a uh, a lot different than than what he's like now. Uh, at least as far as like his his ability goes. Oof, Abathur on Braxis, not great. Yeah, because I think Illidan was played a fair bit on release. I mean, there was just way fewer heroes at that time, but, you know, just like with Hearthstone, every time they release a new hero, the new hero is, like, the most overpowered thing ever, and then they tune it back a little bit, but it just, like, there's so much power to creep uh, that even when they try to rework some of the older heroes, it's just not enough to catch him up. Because, like, a lot of the Overwatch heroes that they introduce later... Just like their play style is strictly better, like a you know a tracer or a uh, Lucio or something, just like crazy fast auto attacking while you move. It's yeah, these concepts that are hard to compete against. And Abathur's still good, but Abathur's good if you're like super talented, which I am not. I think I play him okay. This game's looking rough for us. Yeah, this is not uh, not at all ideal. They actually have a comp that you would like draft. Ours is like three players that you normally would, and then us two. Uh, nests are probably not going to be the answer. I think we're going to have to go shield here. Yeah. Did they add Overwatch heroes to HOTS? Yes, lots. So like this one, D.Va, she's in it. They've got half a dozen maybe? Something like that. A lot of the Overwatch heroes are the, I, I think, the most overpowered. Overpowered or just annoying to, uh, to play against. All right, we're ready for uh, big hats. Uh, Farah? No. I actually don't know who Farah is. But there is no Farah in Hunts. I never played Overwatch, so... Can't, uh, can't speak... ...to some of the characters. Any chance? Uh, no. Gonna have to grab this XP real quick. Okay. We got nobody up top. It's not great. Uh, sorry, I got a phone call. Miss your response to what I said earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Uh, what are your thoughts on the warrior matchup for Control Hunter? I haven't played enough of it, uh, just because you know we haven't uh, haven't run into that many um, that many warriors. However, I think it's at least uh, it's at least fifty fifty, and it's probably favored for the for the hunter is my my feeling. Oh sick, I get a Zare to a kill there. That works. Yeah, it kinda depends because the mid-range uh, mid-range hunter is better 
against control warrior like 100 percent but uh, you know you just don't have all the tools nice another kill you just don't have all the tools that a mid-range hunter does uh, which really means uh, Brightling might be dead no wow I don't know how we're winning this so well but works for me uh, so yeah you gotta play the control Mashup. Anyway, that's what I was getting at. You gotta play it like a mid-range hunter, so you gotta hope to get like animal companion and uh, and bow and hound master and, and try to win like that instead of with the control uh, tools that they've got. Nice. Right wing never dies. Annoying as fuck. Well, not when Brightling's on your team. Uh, warrior struggles versus mid-range, mid yeah. Sh Shaman is strong into Warrior, yeah. Any kind of mid-range deck will do uh, favorably against a control warrior, generally speaking. I uh, got AA speed now. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure Mule is good in this one. It's too short of a, too short of a game. One of the few times they're not gonna pick it. But you're right, you're dismantling Warlock with that Hunter, great. Sorry, it's hard for me to respond to chat when I'm playing this uh, this hero. He's like very uh, brain intensive. It's actually why I like streaming Hearthstone, I get to talk with you guys more. Uh, yeah, Zoo for sure. It's good against Handlock too, but it's like crazy good against Zoo. Okay, if they try to contest here, should be able to kill Stitches. Yeah, I think it is favor versus both, but it's like more equipped for, uh, yeah, we tried. More equipped for Zoo, I would say. Oh, that was an annoying blink. Just barely got the shields and Brightling just in time. Yeah, but we're still dead. Okay, and we're dead there. Yeah, Hunter's Mark is crazy good versus Warlock. And just the, the hero power, like... Wow. No matter how aggressive or not your deck is... Uh, yeah, just the hero power is going to be hugely good. Uh, hand like some more else with your axis and taunts, so you gotta play it carefully a bit. Uh oh. Uh, 
Oh, my shield was like 0.5 seconds off the of cooldown. So sad. Uh. Yeah, exactly. Hunter Hero Power and, and the Warlock Hero Power <laughs> kind of have synergy, if, uh, if you know what I mean. This, the same goals, basically. Well, I can really do much there. Uh, I can ultimate evolution real soon here, but. There, now I get to play my little bit of Illidan as well. I don't know why Brightman's trying to save me. Yeah, please don't. Got that, uh, that power spike, I guess. Uh, please! Damn. There we go. This is exactly how you want it to look. So sick. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was just doing the uh, the hat for like two seconds there. Eh? So I was planning on going back up top right away. Just smashing buttons, not aiming. Hey, whatever, uh, whatever works. All right, let's see what do we got down here. Oh god. Oh god, Abbott, they're almost dead himself. That's not nice. Yeah, this map's always short because we get to. Uh, Like these guaranteed big pushes from the objective. Is he winning? I have no idea what any of this means. The the best approximation is to look at the top. Uh, oh my god! Look at this. This is a uh, villain like Doom just tearing it up here. Um, yeah. So th these are like team levels. So we're one team level ahead of them. Um. And then you look at these structures. So they've got two keeps, we've got two keeps, and one fort. So uh, we're just a little bit ahead in experience and a little bit ahead in structures. Uh, but this game is more like Mario Kart or something. It's got like comeback mechanics to, uh, I got it, to, um, what do you call it? To make sure the other team has a chance to come back at any point, so like you'll get more experience if um, solo boss. All right, I'll trust you. Man. Uh, actually, not sure what we want here. Twenty. I got this. Uh, 
Oh, I got a bail. They're gonna come actually kill me. BRB. Sorry, too slow. It's still on cooldown. I had to defend this wave down here. There we go, two kills is uh, our own little uh, Illidan play. This should be it. The uh, the objective will certainly win the game, but we might also just win right here. It's just diving so deep on him. I got some heals, but uh, it's a little risky. Killable Illidan. Well, almost unkillable. I'll be diva for a while, why not? Actually ended up working out not too bad. Not your best Illidan game. Yeah, not my best Abathur game. All good. Was fun. I think we did fine. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for uh, thanks for playing. I think I'll do. Uh, do at least one more. I'm gonna go watch the Lakers game. Nice, nice, nice. Well, enjoy, uh, enjoy the Lakers game. I'm going to uh, to kick you. We yeah, have GGs. It's good. Now it'll go back to my MMR. I'm certain, uh, just based on like the levels and the gameplay there, that uh, you're you're boosting my quick match MMR. But yeah, gotta get in at least one more, one more hogger game here. It's too much fun. 
But yeah, I really like this game for just like pick up casual play. Like I won't play it for like two years and then like just this last Christmas came back to it. I feel like it's a really good game for uh for just playing with your friends every now and then. Goofy stuff like that, the Abathur Illidan combo. Cho'Gall. Love love me some Cho'Gall. Yeah, really fun with friends. Yeah, Aram's fun. But yeah, I never even tried to do like the the ladder grind or anything like that. Don't know how it compares to other games. Rank can be toxic. I mean, I find like I found it to more toxic, I guess, in ranked. But I found it uh, very toxic in quick match, even. And you know, I I don't play at a high level, but I know I know generally like macro stuff and a lot of people make like horrible macro mistakes but they'll still yell and scream at you ranked in any mobile is toxic i think that's true i rank i i would say any ranked game is is toxic um if you have the ability to be toxic like i actually 100 percent agree with hearthstone's approach on like you can emote but that's it like and even in this, you can't talk to the other team. Like, I know you can in League. I'm not sure about Dota. Um, yeah, StarCraft, right? People would, like, BM the shit out of you in StarCraft. It's, like, pretty much doesn't matter. Uh, we have just the most insane wave clear. Uh, not really a proper tank, but I guess that's the Haka. And they've got Vikings. Very strange game. Very toxic community in MOBA games. That was my league. Yeah, I, I think MOBAs introduce like even more toxicity. Yeah, see you, villain. Thanks again for the games. GG's. Enjoy uh, the Lakers game. But yeah, I think it sort of invites more toxicity just because you've got teammates that you've got to rely on. Uh, we've got to either play super safe or just help them cheese up here, I guess. Might as well help them cheese. Just go for it. Don't mind BM, but teammates flaming you. Yeah, yeah. For like, sure. Hero select. They're just like, whatever other dumb shit. Yeah, I, I can't stand it. And I just can't stand the attitude of like, you know, 100% I'm right, you're wrong. Uh, not like, oh, why would you pick him? Or I feel like we need this guy or whatever. It's just like, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> I remember as a kid, people would mod the original StarCraft so you can make custom scenarios. Yes! SCV football. Oh my god. I still love watching Brood War. If, uh... No, I can't really get this gem safely. If I ever get a chance to watch Artosis stream... Ugh. So much fun. If he had tongue, we would have been able to get him. That's alright, though. So I'm not sure when I should be going for camps as uh, as Hogger anymore, now that he's nerfed on his camp ability. My brother and I placed Matt with a trap in the beginning, blocked the stairwell so everyone else would be killed. That sounds hilarious. Like a little shit. Yeah, lots of, uh... It's, it's actually really cool what all those custom games had, uh... Had brought. Hey, like... Warcraft and Starcraft... Like, literally spawned the MOBA genre with custom games. Uh... Yeah, I think we still want that. Oh, easy kill. I don't know if you guys have ever played the uh, the Lost Vikings game. Like that's what those guys are. If you're unfamiliar with the game, I still have it on Super Nintendo, like here at my place, and it's actually such a good game. Nice. We're the best.
Never heard of it? Oh, so good. Worth the... Uh, worth getting like an emulator for. It's like a puzzle game so you control at the Lost Vikings. The idea is you're like these Vikings that uh, they get picked up by aliens. Oh my god, we're the best. And you just go through all these like crazy... Yeah, Lost, that's right. You go through all these crazy levels that are like made of candy or on spaceships or whatever. Um, but it's like a puzzle adventure game so you control one Viking at a time. One of them can jump, one of them can attack, and one of them can block. And, uh... Yeah, just, just very clever. I liked Garbage Fire the last game. I think we'll do it again here. Yeah, give it a look. It's like an old Blizzard game, basically, because it was Black Isle, which is in purchase by Blizzard. I, I don't know exactly how it worked, but, like, they've got rights to the IP, and that's why the Last Vikings are in this game. Uh, it's like a hero that you play three heroes at the same time. So, like, you know, Abathur's a global hero. Well, the Last Vikings, you control all three at once. Kind of like you're playing an RTS, like StarCraft or something. So cool. It's like this guy's Olaf guy can only block in the original last Viking skin. Oh, we just can't kill him. Yeah, you know the hero? Okay. Yeah, so that's uh that's where it comes from. It's actually a really, really hard game, too. You know those Super Nintendo games were, like, brutally difficult? It is punishing. Uh, probably don't need to push that. The hawk again. The, uh, missed the stab from Imperius. Pretty nice. Trade it. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, you remember now? A friend told me about it. When you're playing Hots, never played it. Yeah, it's fun. Like, I, I think it would still hold up. It's been a while since I've played it, but... It was a ton of fun back then, and, uh... Like, puzzle game type things tend to, uh... Tend to hold up, you know? Uh, I don't know if we should just go for, uh bruisers here. Again, being hogger used to be the uh, the guy who would do those kinds of things. So yeah. Yikes. It's a good thing we didn't go for breezers. So annoying. There we go. Alright, I think I like the hogger buffs. <laughs> Uh, no. 
What a god. I agree. We're we're good at this game. Oh Jesus. Didn't mean to cap laugh. I think that's our best talent there. Eh? Ah, we got caps left. Off now, don't look like a noob. Although we are. Glad to cut your stream, I'm gonna take a nap, have a good night. Yeah, you too, Tantar. This is, uh, because I know you were asking in the Discord and stuff, this is a bit later than we normally stream, so if you're, you know, looking for Hearthstone stuff, it'll probably be most days an hour or two earlier than, than this one, but yeah, it's good to see you stop by. I always love the new faces. Okay, we've got enough to turn in. We've only got one, we just need one more stupid gem and we could turn in here. Well, maybe the hawk can get out of there. I don't know if that fire was going to kill him or not. I thought I'd make sure. Oh, so very nice. Should probably go just push up top here as well. XP is still relevant. I had by two levels, but uh, well yeah, now three. But it's relevant because of the uh, the talent tiers, right? It, once you hit 20, you've got all the talent tiers, and so it's like less of a big deal to uh, to level up. But once they hit 16, like now, they can actually still contest us pretty well, uh, even behind on levels. Definitely not unlosable. There are so many comeback mechanics in this game. It is highly favored for us. But unlosable. Ooh. Heck no. This game is always losable, man. 
Love it or hate it. I really just wanted to go in on that Jaina. Uh, it's a little ballsy to do this, but screw it. I don't know why my angles look so weird on that. With how their Eric is playing? Well, they're, uh, they're Vikings anyway. I mean, again, I, I would say it's highly favored. I, I've seen some like really crazy comebacks. I've uh, I've been a part of really sad losses. Basically, if you like try to get boss here, let's say, and then they came and uh, they came and contested boss, you could absolutely lose from that. Of course, it would be a stupid call to, to just like randomly go boss, but I don't know. People like to do it. Now, here's our no control. Very nice. Even getting, uh, even getting compliments here this game. See, I like to think that if we actually played this game somewhat seriously, we'd get decent at it. So I actually played like StarCraft 2 up to like a master's level. So like I've got the the ability to play like RTS games somewhat decently. Here we go, this is the comeback from them, I'm telling you. Losable. Except we're, we're six fourths to zero. Yeah, if we just keep dying one by one, we uh, we actually will lose this. But still, though, just with like the extra catapults you get from having the two two fourths down, it's really really tough for him to come back. And it doesn't look like they're going for boss, which honestly they should be. But yeah, these one by one deaths. This this is not cool. <laughs> What's the character with the wings on their team? Uh, I'm not sure if it's Jaina or Imperius. Probably Jaina, I think. It's just a weird skin. Because she does have a kind of goofy, uh, goofy skin, you know? Guys trying hard to win. Uh, yeah, their whole team's been like very aggressive here. Uh-oh. I thought that'd be a fine time to no control. Guess not. Yeah, yeah, that is Jaina for sure. Ugh. 
she just squeaks out. Uh, oh yeah, oh, but Imperius also has wings. This one's Imperius. Uh, yeah, Imperius actually is playing quite well. Jaina, I don't know. You should actually have, like, more hero damage. Four times, eh. In this game, maybe not that bad. It's a little tough, because we've got no healer, right? It's quick match. It's a pretty weird team comp. But yeah, yeah I think that guy's playing well. I think we gotta quit dying, because, uh, well, we were... We were the best player on our team up until those last two deaths. Both actually pretty bad. And they can actually turn in, which is a problem. You shut him down, he insta win. Yeah, problem is he's like uh, super tanky. Like he he can basically endlessly regen. Uh, so he's not one that you're generally gonna focus on on taking down. Jeez, brutal for us. Uh, and he's just got like tons of tons of CC because he stabs people. Oh, so sick. What the? Okay, I've never had no control do that, but I do know why. Damn, this asthma is really uh, getting us back into the game. Do another just crazy no control. <laughs> well, that worked. We killed their whole team. I think that satisfies my uh, my heart's craving for the day. It was nice to uh, GG. Thank you. Yeah, it was nice coming back to it, doing something a bit different. Always uh, like playing with viewers as well. Good seeing a villain like Doom hop on or hop on. Maybe we'll get some uh, maybe we'll get some other people in at a different time. Um, but yeah, I think with the uh, with that, gonna end the stream. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, more Hearthstone. And uh, let's see, yeah, tomorrow's Thursday, so we'll do some Hearthstone. Have to get it done early because we've got artifacts in the evening. Not sure what we'll be playing though. So, anyway, yeah, thanks everyone for watching on Twitch or YouTube, or whatever, and uh, hopefully see you guys another time.